are going to have so much fun today. Just remember, no trumping, no screaming, and no throwing your toys out the pram, got it? Talking about you or Ruby? Both. <laughs> You're really excited about this playgroup, aren't you? Well, I think it's important that we're stimulate her. So it's not just a group of mums and dads sat in a circle singing really badly? Oh, no, there'll be plenty of that. <laughs> but there's loads of other activities too. It's all about the babies interacting and socialising. Brains are like a sponge at this age. So it's yours by the sound of it. Katie really gave you a hard sell. Well, I just wanted to have the best possible start in life. I oh, know. Which is why I'm going to make you a promise. <laughs> this backing job's just a stepping stone for me, honestly. You're in my corner, the sky's the limit. Well, like you say, we're a team. Even so, I'll never forget the sacrifice you've made for me. Never. Hi, baby. I thought we could all go to the cinema tonight. Yeah, whatever. Oh, but I'm supposed to be having a sleepover and coming with Grandad. Oh. You promised? Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it just slipped my mind. Okay, well, maybe we can go tomorrow. Oh, look, uh, while I remember, the school sent a reminder about Simon's school trip uh, to file instalments due. Leanne? What? Uh, final payment for Simon's school trip. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, look, sorry, I've just got a bit of an headache. Uh, I'll sort it out this morning. Is everything all right? I mean, do you want me to take it? No, I'm fine. All right, have a good day. See you later. Come on. See you later, big man. Later. Read your paper and drink your tea. What? You heard me. You look too happy. Well, I'm happy because I'm going to be a dad. Yeah, have you ever heard of tempting face? Mm -hmm. Hey, there you go, flower. Cheers, Anna. OK. Hey, morning, what can I get you? <laughs> a new identity for starters. A uh, coffee to take out to. Come in. Oh, mate. You are so in the doghouse. Where'd you crash? Uh, Lloyd's. How was she this morning? Uh, I think she missed me. Why don't you ask yourself? Hiya. Hey, morning. Morning, Anna. Uh, egg mayo balm to go, please. Coming right up. There you go, there's your coffee. Ta. You look nice. Yes, well, it certainly isn't for your benefit. Dean Webb, we've got a meeting in Sheffield later. A meeting, I might add, that you had to bust a gut to organise after your little fun and games yesterday. Well, yeah, I said I'm sorry. Stuff sorry. This is my career you're messing with. Well, it's Rob who's messing with my head. Oh, here we go. Oh, look, the bloke fancies you and you won't see it. Will you change the record? Me and Rob are mates and colleagues, all right? That's all we are, that is all we ever will be. Michelle. I'm not interested. Right, there you go. It's £1.60, please. Cheers, Emma. Keep the change. Oh. Like I wasn't stressed enough about today. Hey, morning. Hey. Oh, it's Tommy. I'll have a few. Cheers. Fancy a brew? Uh, it's all right. I'll get one. Don't be daft. I'll have a cup of tea, love, please. Just so you know, I'm under orders not to look happy. Oh, right, why? About the baby. Oh, yeah. Um, that's, that's massive news. Are you sure you're okay about all this? 100%. Morning! Hey, Tommy. Come for an apology, you can whistle. Ah, oh, it's okay. Michelle's already texted a heartfelt apology on your behalf. What was that phrase that she used to uh, describe you? Uh, oh, yeah, that's it. Complete moron. No. Seriously, though, you actually did me a favour. Here I am, looking whiter than white, and you're dropping clangers left, right and centre. Well, I'm glad I could help. Of course, you have up the ante somewhat. Before yesterday, I wasn't out to snag Michelle. It would be a talk, bit of a wind-up. But after your little stunt, I'm afraid it's become a matter of principle. I'd say may the best man win, but you know what? I've never been one for false modesty. See you around. You know what I think? No, what do you think? I think we should go away for the day. OK. Yeah, take Liam to the seaside and really go bonkers. Bonkers sounds fun. Doesn't it? Only one teensy problem, though. What's that? You and me are public now. We're out in the open. Oh, no. I just wish we could fast forward a bit, get past all the gossip and the rubbish stuff. Well, it's the rubbish stuff that'll make us stronger. Yeah. You and your good answers. <laughs> All right, in that case, why don't we go to the bistro for dinner tonight? Really give people something to talk about. Are you sure? 
We're not going anywhere, you and me. I think it's time people got used to that. Don't look so nervous. <sighs> I feel like I'm about to sit an exam. You look terrific, Big Sid won't know what's in. All right, so all I am is eye candy, is it? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? If we blow this, I'm gonna kill Steve. Forget him. It's gonna be fine. Hey, where's the van? Left two minutes ago. Right, we'll call it back. How come? Less than the 20 questions. Just pick the phone up. What's going on? Uh, nothing to worry about, Michelle. Well, we'll be the judge of that, Sam. Well, there's been a bit of a mix-up with old Flynn's order. What sort of mix-up? Somehow, accidentally, I've inputted the wrong quantities. I noticed that earlier in the week, don't worry. I corrected the figures. In fact, it should ship this afternoon, actually. Then we're OK. Yep. As a rule, I always double-check the order schedule. And why is that, may I ask? Well, it's not a criticism. I just prefer to rely on myself. Like my old sergeant used to say, share success, not failure. It was an error, not failure. Whatever makes you feel better about yourself. Oh, I'd lose that ton if I were you. OK, Sal, don't get your knickers in a twist. Kirsty, you're in charge till we get back. Keep an eye on the troops, take messages, you know the drill. Are you serious? Yeah. I like people who use their initiative. Uh, any problems with that? Nope, none at all. Come on, I'll show you the ropes. Hey, cheer up. Remember, no one's bigger than the game. Wow. For an ex-copper, that Kirsty certainly doesn't take prisoners. <laughs> one big happy family. Mm. There's certainly a lot of love in that office. Mm. Hiya. Hiya. How would you fancy closing the shop for half an hour and grabbing a bite to eat? Oh, no, thanks. Not today. Oh, come on. Oh, can you take no for an answer? All right, keep your hair on. Sorry. Sorry, I'm um, just a bit snowed under, that's all. Yeah, uh, I can see you a bit swamped when I came in. Yeah, all right, don't need your sarcasm, thanks. All my company by the sounds of it. I'll leave you to it. Mum, wait, please, just no, wait. fine, forget it. Hi, Peter, it's Leanne. Um, I was just ringing to let you know that the uh, final paperwork arrived this morning, so... Uh, um, I haven't spoken to Simon, so... I was just thinking, if you two speak this weekend, I'd prefer if you didn't say anything to him. Anyway, um, I suppose that's it. There's nothing more to discuss. As of today, we're divorced. Anyway, take care then. Bye. Julie? Yes, Mr Donovan? Is Michelle still in the bog? Uh, I think so. Well, be a star and tell her ladyship I'd like to hit the road this side of Christmas. Will do. Thank you. What time are you getting off? Ten minutes ago. Seriously, how long does it take a woman to touch up her makeup? Depends on the woman. Personally, I can't see why she's getting so dolled up for a business meeting. Well, I guess she wants to impress Mr. Oldtree. So, should I be worried about what Steve said about your fancy, you know? <laughs> I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. I'm sorry. She just gets to spend so much more time with you than I do. Hey, come on, not in front of the other staff, eh? Right. Ready when you are. Finally. <laughs> I'll, uh, see you later. Uh, well, what are we doing tonight, then? Just play it by ear, yeah? Bye. Bye. Kirsty, factory's all yours. Gotcha. Being conscientious. Yeah, well, whatever. As long as you understand that you'll be back in packing tomorrow. Boxes, boxes, boxes. That's all I've been packing for you. What's your point? Nothing. I'm merely observing the refreshing simplicity of your job. I see. 
Not that I'm saying you're simple right now. No, then. perish the thought. Well, you shouldn't run before you can walk. You've got to learn the ropes, put the work in. That's the best way to impress. And how's that working out for you, then? I don't take your meaning. Oh, I think you do. Let me explain something to you in simple terms. Rob placed me in charge because he sees my potential. Give it a few months, it'll be a permanent promotion. I think they'll find I'm next in line for promotion. Once upon a time, maybe. If you're looking for Michelle, they've already left. Oh. Was the, uh, mood okay between them? Are you kidding? They look like they were going on their holidays. <sighs> Beginning to think I shouldn't have come. What are you on about? Well, this is just too important for us to screw up. So we won't screw it up. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. Think you're in there, mate? Nah, not my time. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, here we go. Game on. <sighs> Afternoon, Sid. Afternoon. Finally decided to show your face, I see. We should have laid on a brass band. I said I was sorry. Thanks very much for giving us another opportunity, Mr. Altree. Well, thank the robster for twisting my arm. I'm not usually so forgiving. Well, we really do appreciate it, and I promise you, you won't regret it. So, um, shall we get started? We've got a lot of ground to cover. Hi again. Hiya. Um, I just came to say sorry about earlier. Don't know what came over me. Well, actually I do, but I shouldn't have taken out on you. Anyway. Just came to say sorry. Uh, where do you think you're going? Sit down. Oh, Mum, I'm not in the mood. Sit. Right. Now tell me what's wrong. Nothing. I can do this all day if you like. I'd really rather not discuss it today, OK? Well, fine. I'll go and talk to Nick. Well, do what you like. Nick doesn't know anything. Nick doesn't know anything about what? What are you hiding from Nick, Leanne? Me and Peter are divorced. Since when? Since this morning when the decree absolute arrived. I didn't even know you two. Oh, what do you want me to say? Yeah, I kept quiet about it. When I received the papers, it just felt like it came out of the blue. I felt like I'd been kicked in the gut. And I didn't feel like I expected to feel. And now I don't know. Now you're with Nick? I don't need reminding. Good. Because Nick is ten times the man Peter will ever be. OK, then, so uh, if you're happy with the revised costumes for the spring-summer collection, why don't we talk deadlines and delivery schedules? Oh, 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 slow down. Not so fast. I'm dying of thirst here. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Rob, can we get some more water in here? Please? Water? Are you having a laugh? <laughs> this is what we're going to do, love. I'm going to order a couple of bottles of whatever passes for a decent plonk in this place and you're going to talk deadlines. Then we're going for a slap-up meal and you're going to talk some more. And then we're all going to my private club and get absolutely leathered. <laughs> Mr. Altry, Please, I... call me Sid. Sid. I won't take no for an answer. If we can't get drunk together, we can't do business together. Smashing. Now... While I go and tell the wife a few porkies, I suggest you two strap on your drinking boots. Meet me in the bar. He likes a bevy. There's no way of getting out of this, is there? Nope. I'll, uh, I'll go and book us a couple of rooms. What, you mean we're staying over? Well, I'm not being funny, but I'll barely be able to stand up, never mind drive back tonight. Yeah, but this place costs a fortune. So? If you want to play with the big boys, you've got to spend the big bucks. I thought we could talk about anything. I thought we didn't have any secrets. Oh, look, it wasn't a secret, OK? I just needed to make sense of it in my own head. Well, have you? Oh, I don't know. So let me help mm. you. Come on, please. I really can't do this right now. Hiya, love. Oh, bad day. Yeah, you could say that. Kirsty's been on a flaming power trip all afternoon. Glass of wine? Yes, please. Blimey. I thought I had the mardiest mug in here. You heard from Rob lately? Not recently, but then again, thanks to PC Gob, I've had my phone switched off all afternoon. Well, I have been ringing and texting Michelle all day and I've heard nothing from her. Well, maybe they're still in a meeting. Maybe. There we go. Voicemail from Rob. Oh. What? Well, you're not going to believe this. We've decided to stay in Sheffield tonight. 
Are you ready for this? Absolutely. Kylie will probably be serving us. Bring it on. Hmm. Uh, I'll get this. OK, be nice. Good evening. Evening. <clears throat> Table for two, Kylie? Certainly, come this way. You look foul. Thank you. Hope you've complimented her. Multiple times. Mm -hmm. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> Word of advice, though, if you want to keep the gayness under control, one compliment is always enough. Oh, and never, ever notice her shoes. I'll bear it in mind. So what can I get you? Part of the house, right? Yeah. Oh, well, she won't prefer a pine. Only asking. Part of the house, right? Coming up. See? Good as gold. Uh, if they start tonguing, I'm walking out. OK, what I'm to live and let live? There's living and then there's living a lie. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. What? I've just spotted somebody I can really do without seeing. Who is it? My boss. What do you think of the wine? Not bad. Yeah, great. Plenty more where that came from. Well, uh, <clears throat> maybe we should talk about those delivery schedules. Maybe not. Bottle of champagne, please, love. Nothing I can't pronounce. Right away. You really shouldn't. <laughs> Three words that have haunted me all my life. <laughs> it's the missus. Just give us two seconds. Babe, I'm in a meeting. He's done what? I'll kill him. Yep, all right. All right, I'm on my way. Sorry, guys. I've got a shoot. Torag's son has stolen the motor. Good to meet you again, Rob. Cheers. Michelle, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> so, um, we'll just keep in touch about the contract? Oh, relax. Contract's yours. I'll send the paperwork over Monday. Until the next time. <laughs> That was a yes, wasn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> I did it! You did it. <laughs> Still not picking up. Well, maybe like you said, the meeting's still going on. Yeah, well, it doesn't explain why they can't drive back from Sheffield tonight, does it? True. I mean, Sheffield's what, like an hour, hour and a half away? Rob mentioned anything about staying over? Nope. But when I tried to make plans for tonight, he totally brushed me off. Like maybe he had other plans. I'm gonna kill him. Join the cube. Uh, where are you two going? Sheffield. Rob is dead mate. Don't look at me. You've got enough problems with me, own. <sighs> Marcus, will you put the menu down? Just put it down. What is your problem with her? No, it's just, Ravina can be a bit full on sometimes. But I thought you said that she was nice. Yes, yeah, she is. I'm just not in the mood for talking shop. T tonight's meant to be about us. Oh. Hiya. <laughs> I thought it was you. Oh, hi. <laughs> Didn't see you there. <laughs> what brings you to these parts? Oh, we thought we'd slum it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is my husband, Harris. Hi. Hi, Marcus. nice to meet you. So... Aren't you going to introduce us? Oh, sorry. Yes, uh, Maria, this is Ravina, my boss. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> so, how do you two know each other? Uh, um... uh, <laughs> a long story. Yeah, first we were friends. And then we were best friends. Sid Altry. All hands more like. <laughs> yeah, he was a bit touchy-feely. Touchy feely. It's a dirty old man. Oh, come on. You can hardly blame the bloke for fancying, yeah? You look amazing. Oh, now come on. Save the flattery for the meeting room. Oh, I don't know. You can't give a woman a compliment these days. Yes, well, you don't give compliments, do you? You drop lines, and I'm not biting. You used to be so much nicer <laughs> to me when we were younger. No, trust me. It just seems that way. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Davy Tuttle's 14th birthday doesn't ring any bells. Davy Tuttle. Mm. 
We snogged in the garden <laughs> oh shed. Oh, my God. I can't believe you're bringing that up. You were wearing tight <laughs> stonewashed jeans. <laughs> Ice Ice Baby was playing. Oh, no. And your lips tasted like pear wine. All right, now, come on. How can you remember all that? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. No, oh, come on. I will. <clears throat> you started this. Spill. All right. If you really must know. You were my first... my first kiss. I didn't realise that. Mm, of course you didn't. You met Dino two <laughs> hours later. Mm. Now you know why I get so wound up when you say I haven't met the right woman yet. I met you 20 years ago. <laughs> oh, now, come on. It's just the drink talking. Maybe it is. But it's still well overdue. <laughs> that night, you promised me another kiss. I'm still waiting, Michelle. Coronation Street continues in half an hour.